Silently using the same fill twice also sound like ass. No drummer would ever do that. Maybe CC Top. Um, but that's kind of like part of their part of their thing. So let's start looking at these fills. So they sound real mechanical, right? So even though um, Superior Drummer uses what's called called round robin, so they've recorded many hits at the same at at every velocity. So similar, but definitely not the same, right? <clears throat> The snare doesn't bother me as much. But those toms sound really, really mechanical. So the easy way to fix that is just to fudge with the velocity a little bit. And a good way to do this, here's how I do it. You can go in and like manually change all of them, but who has time for that? So what I like to do is I like to listen to where, there's usually like pretty distinct between what two velocities the drums sound really different. Let's check these. So less on that one I feel, but here it feels quite a bit softer on one of these hits once you get below maybe 123. So that sounds pretty similar like sound wise, it just gets quieter. This one too. Let's check the snares. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna allow the snares to stay. Let's, let's keep them at 127. Just see what that sounds like. But these guys, I'm gonna go into functions, MIDI transform, I'm gonna go random velocity. So here I can set, the computer will generate random numbers for me so instead of me going in and tweaking every every drum separately i can just uh, decide between which two values i'm gonna from 127 which is full tilt let's try like 118 let's see what that sounds like operate only let's see what it feels sounds like now all right so there's a little more variance in it. So compare that to, that's very robotic, a little bit better. Let's do something with the snare too. So same thing, uh, MIDI transform, random velocity, 127, here I'm gonna go 123, because I still want it to be punchy. <clears throat> Start to sound a little more alive. All right, so here, let's do something else. And uh, yeah, how to learn how to program drum fills really just comes down to learning the instrument and listening to drummers and see what they do. So let's uh, go maybe. So uh, I'm just making this up. So back at dun dun. So here this says back at dun dun. I might be messing this up, but we'll figure that out. Packetung, packetung, tung. Packeta, packeta. Yeah, let's fudge with the rhythm here a little bit. Maybe this should be a different tone. What do you guys think? And here I want like a fast triplet thing. So I'm gonna change this into triplets, which would be 24. So that's 16th, no triplets. Very common fill popularized in the uh, 60s by Bonham and those guys is the old Tom Tom kick. Pacato, 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 pacato. Cozy Powell plays this on one of the intros for one of the rainbow tunes. Uh, and yeah, everybody uses it. And then when they started using double kick drums, it turned into Tom Tom kick kick. But we'll uh, we'll cover that as well. So let's just uh, listen to what some pakatu pakatu will sound like. Um, 
So that's a tom. Let's go floor tom. And here's a kick. Cool. So what if we just do that twice? Cool. And then what happens if we uh, just go back to playing groove? See what that sounds like. I guess I can go up from here. Cool, and one thing you can do, it's very popular with drummers, is that we have this pacato pacato pattern. We can go down one set on the toms. I guess we'll keep that. So now it's gonna be ba do doink, and next set of toms, ba do doink. Sounds pretty cool. Let's check it out. Right. Gives us a little bit of uh, dynamics to it. And then what if we MIDI function, MIDI transform, random velocity, let's go maybe 123. Still want it to be loud and aggressive. It's just a little more variation in the drum hits. And if you consider, let's pretend this is going into a chorus, I want it to be really big. Something I like to do is I put A symbol on the left and A symbol on the right. So. Cool, let's see what that sounds like. Yeah, sounds bigger, cause it's more. More is more. Thank you, Ingrid Malmsteen. I like to pretend he goes over to the right here. Alrighty, that's pretty cool. Sounds like a ride. Like drummers like to go from the hat to the ride just to change the dynamic and the tone of things. And this is something I use a lot too. Let me show you the metal fill, the uh, drum drum kick kick. And you can really mess with this however you want. Uh, you hear this in metal a lot. It's every metal drummer's favorite fill. And it's also my favorite fill. And it's surprisingly easy to play. I'm not saying it's easy to play. I'm just saying it, it's it's like tapping on a guitar. Sounds bitching, but it's really not that hard, right? So what you're gonna do? You're gonna grab any two uh, hits with your hands. So any drum. We're gonna do two of those, and then we're gonna do two kicks. Yeah. Um, so let's just start here. That sounds super mechanical, right? So what happens if we start moving the thumbs around? I think we're out of thumbs here. Ah, we're not. Cool, check this out. Alright, well let's do the uh, Lars Ulrich thing and just land, uh, hit a Chinese symbol or a crash on this last snare. I don't like that. See that? Ah. So you can vary this however much you want. So now I just have like tom kick, tom kick, tom kick. You can start with the kicks too. You can go snare tom kick. Actually, let's do that on this since we have one more bar to fill up, I think. Yeah, we have two more beats. So here's another variation of this that I really like. Just go in between the snare and the kick. And there's nothing saying you can't do four snares and two kicks or four kicks and two snares. Whatever you want, you can do anything.
All right, so what do we have here? We have two toms, kick, tom, kick, tom, kick, tom, kick, snare, kick, snare, kick, bunch of snare, and two toms. Ah, and then that, uh, of course, would go back into uh, playing group. See what that sounds like. And what I would probably do, I'd probably just make this first one a snare. Because I think that sounds cool. Yeah, why not? Maybe make this one snare too? What are you guys think? Eh, I didn't like that one. Yeah, I'm gonna give you guys another uh, very metal fill, and that's the uh, cymbal interspersed tom run of mayhem and death. Um, I'm sure that's what it's called. Basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just do like a brrrr, but there's gonna be a cymbal on each quarter note with a kick drum. So. If he starts filling over here, he's probably playing a cymbal over here, right? So the cymbal kind of follows the drum fill. Uh, Nicholas Barker from uh, original Cradle of Filth, I think he plays with Dimmu Borger. Um, he does this a lot. So very common in like black and death metal. Let's find the cymbal on our left. Ding! Paka paka! I told Typho. One, two, three, four. That's British. Ding, paka taka. Am I doing this right? Where are we? Where are we? Alright, so we gotta give a little more space. Bing, taka taka. Go away. Let's put a kick here, a kick here, and a kick here. So this one will be more center. I guess that's gonna be a splash. Next time. Yeah, I might have to use that same simple. Oops, might have to use that same simple twice. Um, let's see what it sounds like. You get the idea, right? I also want to show you the uh, Paul Bostaff uh, fill from um, the Slayer's Divine Intervention album. He does this all over uh, the record, and I think it sounds super cool. So what he's going to do, he's going to start with a couple of quick kicks. Yeah, so <clears throat> what he did was he would do two fast kicks and then there's going to be a snare drum with a, a crash very often in China. Bang, and then he just kind of runs through the kit from there. Uh, let's see what that sounds like. So we're going to put a snare. Yeah, so here's what he would do. That and very often there's a symbol over to the sides on the right side and then he just like run th runs through the kit. And bing, blah, 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 blah. Uh, actually, we will leave a little more space here. Yep. And portion it out however you see fit. So let's use a little bit of the uh, MIDI transform, random velocity 122. Let's see what that sounds like. Uh, we need 
some more of this guess. Yeah, let's maybe put some kicks at the end. And we could go for like uh Yeah, maybe not the most lifelike uh, fill in the world, but you get the idea. So just take that and build on it. Um, listen to a ton of drummers. And uh, yeah, th these basics, just like mixing Thompson's uh, like sticks and feet, basically, will get you through a lot, at least in metal.